Hello and welcome to today's episode of our podcast. Today, we'll be discussing Lanchester's first law, a mathematical model that describes the relationship between the number of troops engaged in a battle and the number of casualties inflicted. This law was developed by British engineer and mathematician Frederick William Lanchester during World War I. Lanchester's first law assumes that the effectiveness of a military force is proportional to its size and firepower. The law states that the number of casualties inflicted by one side on the other is proportional to the square of the number of troops engaged. In other words, if one force has twice the number of troops as the other, it will inflict four times as many casualties. This law has been used to model a wide range of conflicts, from ancient battles to modern warfare. It has been applied to air combat, naval warfare, and ground combat. The law has also been used in business and economics to model competition between companies. The next episode will be on Lanchester's second law. Make sure to subscribe so that you never miss an episode. One of the key insights of first law is that a larger force does not necessarily have an advantage in combat. If the opposing force has equal or greater firepower, a smaller force may still be able to inflict significant casualties. This was demonstrated in several historical battles, including the Battle of Thermopylae, where a small force of Spartans held off a much larger Persian army for several days. The movie on the same has exaggerated the facts to make it look more heroic in the favor of Spartan. Much worse was the condition for the Sikh regiment's face-off against the invading Afghans. At the Battle of Saragari Fort in the year of 1897, 21 Sikh soldiers defended against 10 to 12,000 Afghans. There is a movie on the same as well. These techniques, however, were very common in the Eastern Hemisphere, especially in China and India. The book called Art of War, written by Sun Tzu and Chanakya Nidhi by legendary tactician Chanakya, talk about more diverse and effective techniques. Now thinking about the same, I feel like bringing couple of series on these two books and the strategies they pack. I shall also discuss the effectiveness of such techniques in modern warfare and if a general public could take lessons and increase their prowess. Make sure to subscribe to never miss an episode. Coming back. The law also provides valuable insights into military strategy. For example, the law suggests that a force should concentrate its troops on the most vulnerable parts of the enemy's force in order to maximize its effectiveness. The law also suggests that a force should avoid splitting its troops, as this can reduce its overall effectiveness. However, it's important to note that Lanchester's first law has its limitations. The law assumes that both sides have equal firepower and that troops are evenly distributed throughout the battle. It also assumes that there are no external factors, such as reinforcements or changes in weather, that could significantly influence the outcome of the battle. In reality, there are many other factors that can influence the outcome of a battle such as terrain, weather, and the skill and morale of the troops. In conclusion, Lanchester's first law is a mathematical model that provides valuable insights into the dynamics of warfare. It has been applied to a wide range of conflicts and has been used to develop military strategy. While the law has its limitations, it remains an important tool for understanding the mathematics of war. Thank you for listening to today's episode. Next episode is on the second law.